selfishness, greed, all of the wicked, wicked sins that are holding you back from the celestial kingdom and you shall not enter. No way, no way, no how. You shall not enter until that is gone out of your soul. I promise you that. Only the fullness of the gospel is received in the highest level of the celestial kingdom. Now, if you just want to be a ministering angel, that's fine. You shall not procreate. As God, our eternal Father, who committed this earth to his sons, has had spirit children, promising them if they kept their first estate, they would be able to receive a body and go through this plan of salvation. Oh. I know it's hard for you to overcome all of the weaknesses that you have. But that's what the trial of your faith is. Yeah, even the test of Abraham. The Lord did not ask Abraham to sacrifice a couple bullocks, a couple bulls, a couple of sheep. The Lord asked of Abraham something that absolutely gutted him. He asked for his son. Abraham was willing, but the angel of the Lord stopped him and said, The Lord now knows that you will give all to him. Now receiving a concubine in your household is far less, far less than asking you to give up one of your children. So why can't you do it? Because of pride and greed and envy and those things which canker your soul. which I am trying to purge from your souls that you can receive the highest level of the celestial kingdom. Because God was fair and he saith unto you, all shall receive an equal chance If I don't teach what I am commanded to teach, your choice and your chance falls on my shoulders. And I am guilty of not teaching you. I don't want that. I don't want that burden. But what I'm asked to teach is contrary to everything you've been taught. So I understand it's very difficult. I do. I understand that when you don't commit everything to God, you reserve even one thing. To Satan and you say it that is not God's that is Satan's ye have in that sense worshiped Satan you give him credit even in the numbers you think the Lord doesn't have the number 666 the Lord has the number 667 he has the number 665 and you credit 666 as being Satan's, then you 
in that intelligence hath perverted what is true that all is the Lord's and the Lord said though offenses will come woe be unto the him who those offenses come through and by and instead of thinking to yourself God will send a deliverer a messenger to prepare the way for the fullness of the gospel you say please Lord come in all your glory while we are perverted and wicked to the core in our bones and in our hearts yes we will receive the Lord Jesus Christ we will go up and touch him and be healed but you receive not his word in the fullness from me and if you will not receive that you will not receive him yeah you are I have told you crucifying him you're taking your piece of flesh out of him and shall he receive you in loving kindness what manner of seeds are you planting what manner of seeds are you planting in your children how can a millennial generation exist with the seeds of wickedness that you have planted in your children perverting the judgment righteous judgment of the Lord but because I smoke and you haven't even understood the gospel of Jesus Christ and John came to you eating locust and honey and you say he's crazy he lives in the desert and Jesus came to you eating and drinking wine and you say if he's a wine bibber and I come to you smoking and you say if he's a smoker he can't have the word of God in him yeah you've all together perverted the judgment of the Lord which is loving kindness and he continually stretches out his hand to you and saith repent of your judgments your wicked wicked judgments for the Lord is kind and he is merciful but he cannot stand wickedness for his glory burneth it up like grass in a brush fire and you say you receive my word and the Lord says unto you was the church built for the Lord or was the Lord built for the church your judgments are even as the Jews of old when Jesus healed the lame man who could not get in the healing waters because everybody was jumping in before him and he says Lord I can't get in the water when it's troubled because the people all jump in and the Lord says arise take up your bed walk and he did and then the Jews with their perverted judgments say it to him hey how come you're taking your bed up and walking it's the Sabbath day how come you're smoking don't you understand that those judgments are as perverted as the Jews judgments yeah and you haven't even listened to Joseph Smith jr's word which said I give to you a word of wisdom not by way of commandment adapted to the capacity of the weak to the weakest of all Saints adapted that is the preface of the Word of Wisdom, Section 89 of the Doctrine and Covenants.
and ye have perverted it, even as the Jews perverted the Sabbath day, saying the Sabbath day was made for the Lord instead of the Lord being made for the Sabbath day. Yeah, and I perceive that my word cutteth you to the heart because it is truth. <laughs> was the church made for the Lord or was the Lord made for the church? Well, I say unto you now, the Lord's Prayer, how do we pray? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Does it say the church come or the kingdom? I am come for the kingdom. And I tell you to come out of the churches now to serve the Lord and pay your tithes pay your offerings to the Lord I am here willing to receive and none receive and you say to me does anybody pay their tithes and their offerings well, we pay it to the church oh you pay it to the corruption you pay it to those who corrupt who speaketh of the Lord but do not obey the word of the Lord and the fullness of the Lord that are taking and crucifying the Lord every single day and you say, I have not the word of God in my mouth. But you witness yourselves. We are not living celestial laws. But I teacheth them to you. In kindness and in love and in chastisement, which is the Lord's rebuke. And you receive offensively the Lord's word. How can you receive the Lord Jesus Christ in glory? You can't. When your hearts are corrupted with greed and pride and envy and covetousness and hate for the Lord Jesus Christ in his fullness and in his glory. And you say, all is well in Zion. All is well in Zion. It's not. If it was, there would be no need for me. So I understand that just as Joseph Smith Jr. was given the fullness of the gospel, just as quickly as he passed away, it began to fade. And there's as much as a need for a restoration of the gospel, the fullness of the gospel, as there was when he asked the Lord, which church should I join? And the Lord said, none. They're all corrupt. And you witness, they are. None of them were based on the church of Jesus Christ. And you call yourselves Latter-day Saints and Christians, but you receive not the word of the Lord. How can you receive the Lord? How can he receive you in your wickedness and perversions? What do you think? That he will come and that you will somehow magically overcome all that you've been taught from the day you were born. I say unto you it would have been a lot easier for you in 1993 when I came the first time. And now I come to you even a second time as the Lord has commanded me and given me to give you charge that witness after witness after witness has come to you and you receive not the word what will you say if Jesus Christ comes we receive not his word what do you think Jesus Christ would say to you when ye know that I teach the gospel, the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You receive not my Father. You receive not me, who am now the Father, and him my Son. What excuse will you be left with? But you excuse yourselves 
from your tithes and your offerings. You excuse yourself. When the Lord has told you, pay not your tithes and offerings to the churches anymore, for the kingdom is come. The kingdom is at hand. The churches are wicked. They teach a little bit of righteousness here and a little bit of righteousness there, but they teach not the fullness. Do you want to receive the fullness of Jesus Christ? Or do you want to continue to drive the nails through his hands and to pierce his sides and to watch him bleed with the crown of thorns in his head? Watch blood pour down his face because of you. And you receive and you continually pay the wickedness of the church to build up what? The kingdom? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And you excuse yourselves and saith, I payeth not the Lord because I cannot afford 10%. He has given you all, everything. He didn't ask for your car. He didn't ask for your house. He asked for you to pay your tithes and your offerings in agreement so that you could have a little record of righteousness in the fullness of the gospel, in the fullness and the light which cometh to the Gentiles in fullness. And you say, we don't want that record. You don't want that little record on your record in righteousness that you can testify to the Lord. I have a record, Lord, I support it. Cody Robert Judy, who is Elias, who prepareth the way for thy coming in glory, that we be not burned up like toast. Well, I want to give you a little bit more word of the Lord, which has come to me. Park City, Utah, hath cometh upon the Lord's radar in righteousness but in a warning I have given you much and ye have received not my word I was talking about what seeds you plant and what fruit you shall reap from those seeds do you think you can escape the law of the harvest do you think you can escape the law of the harvest where you planted wickedness, which I call parts of this and parts of that, parts of Moses, parts of Joseph Smith Jr., parts of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, parts of Isaiah, parts of Jeremiah. If you look up the gospel of Jesus Christ, you will find a wholeness, and you will see in that wholeness that every single prophet which was true taught the same wholeness. It is the same yesterday as it is today, as it will be tomorrow. God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow but you receive not and you excuse yourselves. You have not paid your tithes and offerings to the Lord. You haven't trusted the Lord. You haven't trusted. You haven't wanted to be healed. You haven't wanted his angels to administer to you. You, you, you can't even do that much. And I have given you every opportunity saying, pay your tithes and offerings to the Lord now. He has blessed you with everything. He's only asked for 10% your offerings. Go back, go back to my other videos and watch them. The Lord's reference, referencing them. And how can I abide with you when you will not even do that? 
you excuse yourselves. How can the Lord abide with you? I tell you, you need to be a little bit mindful when the Lord withdraws His Spirit from you. And He, he, he withdraws His body, the body of Christ, the wholeness of Christ. The wholeness of Christ. When He's given you all, He hasn't asked for your car, He hasn't asked for your house, He's asked for 10%. And you cannot, and you say, well, who's, who's doing that? Who's, who, who's doing that? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You're not excused. I can't excuse my own children. How can I excuse you? I can't excuse those whom I love. Oh, well, please excuse so-and-so because they are my, my child. Well, aren't you all the Lord's children? Has he excused his children? When you say we receive the Lord, but you, 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 you just want half. I, I don't want that part. I don't want that part. I don't want the fullness. Well, how can you receive the Lord in fullness? How can you receive his glory? When you plant half seeds, are they gonna sprout and bear good fruit? No, they're not. You gotta believe, I've testified that to you. You gotta have faith and you gotta believe. And a token is what the Lord has asked. And I have said, pay your tithes and offerings three, three different ways. You can go to my PayPal, you can go to my uh, uh, direct deposit you can go sprinklers just turn on I think we can get wet <laughs> so go to the end of the videos and and watch pay your tithes and offerings put that record on your record so you have a record and an agreement with me and I'll leave these things with you in the name of Jesus Christ amen